guys, my name is Sharonda Patrice. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I am here today to talk to you guys about trusting God. Um, if you know me pretty well, you know like there's been things that's been going on and um, trusting God has been one of the things that I just have been struggling with I guess um not necessarily saying that my trust in God was gone but you know when you're going through things it definitely um it's hard to rely on God or not want to do you know you want to do everything yourself you don't want to just like be patient and wait on God and let God handle it so um this video was really more so for me and what I need to get out of it so, um, my scripture that I want to focus on in today's video is coming from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And so, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct my path. So, um, here I just want to talk about I mean, it's a very familiar scripture, but, you know, my issue comes from, you know, yes, I trust God, but is it really to the capacity that it should be? Like, do I trust God with my whole heart, as the scripture says? Do I trust him and I don't have any doubt? And do I trust him I don't have any worry? Is that something that I really have? And I can honestly say... No, because I worry all the time and I doubt. I, I I may say, oh God, I trust you to handle this situation, but then I, I go to the what ifs. And so I'm having to learn how to fully depend on God and fully trust God to know that he's going to bring situations out and he's going to have victory. So um, I just wanted to go over some things. Um which I kind of already said this, but surrender yourself and give everything to God. And so that's just make, that's just saying like, give your, give all your heart to God. If you're going to trust God, trust God fully. So um, that's just all that's saying. You just have to make sure that you put it all into him and not half, not part. But all of it, give all your trust into God, all your faith into God, and believe that he's going to take care of all your situations. Um, the next thing is um, redirecting your thoughts. And, you know, that was my very first video on this channel was talking about redirecting your thoughts, right? So we got to change our negative thoughts to positive thoughts. So if a negative thought comes in, we automatically need to think about something positive. If a negative thought comes in, then... Um, maybe we need to get some scriptures that talks about, um, something positive or that blocks out whatever the negative thought is. So if the negative thought talks about worry, then we get a scripture that says, do not worry or do not be afraid or whatever the case may be. But we need to just learn how to think positive and, um, not negative. So the next thing I want to say is that we have to be confident in God and confident in God's word. So we know God's word will never fail us. And so when we're going through times where we feel like we're having a hard time trusting him, we need to be definitely praying and definitely in his word. And so if you start, you start going through the word and you find scriptures that you, you know, it, that relates to your situation or whatever you need to be able to trust that word fully and be confident that God's word stands true and be confident that God's gonna handle the situation and that you don't have to put you don't have to um try to handle it yourself because God don't need no help he don't need no help so we just need to be confident in God's abilities and be confident in his word because that stands true. So uh, the next thing I want to talk about is 
um, which I kind of already said it was, you can't depend on you. We we think we can handle everything, or we think uh, don't trust nobody, only trust yourself. But we need to not be trying to handle everything ourselves. We need to uh, give it over to God and let God handle it. And um, it's hard. It's hard to um, in. It's hard to lessen yourself so that God can increase himself in the situation. It is hard because you want to be, it's, it's hard not to have control over stuff that's going on in your life. But you really don't have control over some of the things that are going on in your life. And so when you don't, God has control over everything. So we need to be able to stop depending on ourselves and depend on God. And my last thing is um, we have to pray and we have to praise him and so i always talk about prayer because that is a that's your alone time with god that's your one-on-one -on -one time with god and so here's where you can talk about what's really going on how you really feeling and just get it all out there he he's all he always has a listening ear he's always willing to listen to what we have to say and he he wants to help us he's always concerned about us so um definitely always pray and then praising we need to praise him while we're waiting to get through our trial or while we're waiting to get through our challenge like we have to praise him in advance so we don't know what we don't know why things happen the way they happen or um just why things happen in general but we have to learn how to praise him through it praise him through it and when you get out of it Praise him even the more. Thank God for bringing you out of the situation. And even if you're not going through anything, um, per se, in the moment right now, you still should be praising him. Praising him for having, having great outcomes in your day or praising him for um, no health problems or praising him, whatever it may be. We, we should always be praising him no matter what. But if you're in a tough situation like this, praise him through the situation. It is hard to lift your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, sometimes. Sometimes it's hard to say, Lord, I just want to thank you for waking me up this morning. It's so hard because you're so focused on your sorrows and your and the things you're going through. But we have to remember that we have, we just have to praise him. Praise him now and praise him later. So um, that's just all I wanted to say. So keep Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 in your mind. Write it down, whatever you need to do. Um, but that should be one of those scriptures that you can grab and go to whenever you're having doubts or whenever you're having worries. So guys, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining me today. Um, comment below what you would like to hear next. Um, like, comment share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.